hello guys and welcome back if you're new on my channel my name is bola harrison kindly stay enjoy keep watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so guys i have with me here a special guest today like i promised to talk to us about living in prague you know basically we had a lot of questions a lot of you are asking me a lot of questions about living in prague and i don't live in prague so i thought to bring someone who knows prague better than i do and today i have someone here with me i would leave him to do the honors of introducing himself to us so yeah um thank you for having me uh, my name is jide i live in prague leave school and work in prague i am having my master's degree in czech university of life sciences in prague czech republic obviously and um yeah that's pretty much it okay thank you for thank you for honoring me with your presence Come on. <laughs> So guys, yeah, we have Jide with us here today. He's a student of CZU, like popularly called. Um, that's Czech University of Life Sciences. And uh, he's here to tell us about living in Prague. So I have a couple of questions on my phone. And uh, I'll try to ask. And we'll just, we'll just have like a chit chat, talk about this. Not so seriously, but serious. <laughs> so, okay. So the first question I actually wanted to ask you, you know, when you were doing all of this, because uh, people, uh, people just come and tell me, Bola, it's difficult but I, I don't know is it worth it so in your experience or in your opinion did mm -hmm. you think that at the end of it it was it was what it was worth it <laughs> believe me, believe <laughs> you know you know you know what yeah, i'm talking about I yeah. I totally <laughs> you? believe me it was worth every second of my sweat mm. trust me it was worth it okay you know coming here i mean it's a beautiful city trust me it's an amazing okay. city yeah day or night it's just amazing okay yeah, so yeah it's okay worth it. so you heard it's what it's, it's what's coming to prague okay so um being a student at any point in time actually this is another thing i wanted to ask you in your experience at any point in time did you did you feel like you wanted to give up at any point during the admission process down to the process before you actually arrived in prague did you feel like you wanted to um like, i have to say my tenac my tenacity <laughs> is quite high i know right? that <laughs> yeah my tenacity is quite high uh, I have this never give up kind of attitude, but trust mm -hmm. me, at some point it really felt it really felt like um, it was becoming too much. That's where you know when you feel like it's becoming too much, that's mm -hmm. where you actually have to put more grind on it. And then yeah, you have to involve God as well. So true. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, true. at the end of the day, I'm in Prague. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, you know, I think what what picked me about the day you got your uh, uh, date was that same day was NLP and we were like yeah, and I was yeah. like NLP I, I was don't, like I don't, yeah I don't God, trust <laughs> and me. I was like yeah like and then I think I commented I was like oh my NLP brother and <laughs> no, I was like yeah that's NLP true. so, that's so true. NLP yeah, was yeah. that day so it was like you, you we, we just to... finished NLP prayers that morning so uh -huh. it was like okay so I told you guys always that God is a it's a huge factor. Yeah, which it doesn't even matter the country. I think it's God. Like <laughs> exactly. whatever God, yeah. in whatever language you want you to call to it, know. it yeah. just has to be God. Okay, so my first question: If you would describe your experience, you know, um, living in Prague for mm -hmm. the past how long have you been in Prague? It's a couple of months. Let's yeah. So that way. yeah. <laughs> so if you would describe your experience so far in maybe a few words, what well, what would you say? Ah, experience. I mean, it's. I don't really know how to put it, but it was quite challenging at first. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, trying to get used to the. Yeah. I used to be an introvert, but if you are in, if you are in Europe, you have to go out. You understand. True. So at at some point it was really hard, but then it became really easy, right? Yeah. The transportation system is amazingly good. Mm -hmm. Everything is, everything works. So, so basically, yeah. like the experience was, I think it, it's, it comes with it, moving to a new place and then you yeah, have to yeah, like, settle basically, in. Yeah, settle in just like okay. everybody else. So. Yeah, yeah, just like everybody else. People uh -huh. will survive. People are living here, so people will survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, my second question is, what benefits or what do you think are the benefits of living in Prague over other cities? Because I think basically it's like a lot of people will tell you that there are other cities in Czech, but they will prefer Prague. For some reason that even people who have not been to Prague will still say they would prefer Prague. Yeah, I, I think the first has to be the language. Mm -hmm. In Prague, which is the capital city, you know, most people, like not most people, but English mm -hmm. speakers are quite high, right? The okay. number of English okay. speakers. So yeah, I think if you go to other cities, you have less English speaking. Okay. And I think maybe jobs opportunity, because if you, if you can speak English, I mean, yeah. there are some jobs you can do. So yeah, I think those are like, Okay, so, so um, Prague has like more job opportunities, definitely. more job, more English speakers. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. and you so, feel more 
more alive. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so, um, yeah, because my, my major concern is people ask, like, what's the cost of living? Like I said, I don't live in Prague. I, I only visit, like, a few couple of times. Mm -hmm. But um, in your own, so far you've been there, what's mm -hmm. been, like, the cost of living in Prague for as an international student? In my own opinion, in my, from my own perspective, Yeah. When it comes to cost of living, I think I think it depends on how much you earn. Okay. You understand? Okay. If you earn more, then you will have much problem. But if you earn less, I don't think you actually have much problem as well. Yeah. Okay. Apart from the once you can once you're able to pay your rent, everything else is basically cheap. The that food, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's why it's it's quite when it comes to cost of living, it's quite relative. Yeah. For okay. me, I think it's okay. Because um, um, for me, mm -hmm. I think I, I do say it, and people, you know, a lot of people have come out to say, no, it's not possible. I do think that if you pay your rent, you can survive on like, it, like you said, it's relative. You can survive on like 2,000 check rounds. Yeah. 3,000 check What are you rounds. eating? Come on. <laughs> that, yeah, like. yeah, yeah, you can. Definitely, you can. Once you pay your rent, everything becomes easy. It's not so like. It means that if you are not a, the kind of person that maybe you live large, excessively large, mm -hmm. like out of reason large. But like for real, even if you want to live large, things are still like cost Cheap. minimal. Yeah, like you can buy literally good food for one fifty check round. Yeah, yeah. like two hundred check round. Yeah, uh huh. Pure. So I think it's and you can if you go out. If you go out out, I think the most you want to do is maybe KFC fries and, fries chicken, and chicken and it's like two hundred check, check rounds, rounds. Check two twenty, two fifty. Yeah, I have a favorite um, Kentucky good wrap. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, <laughs> and it's <laughs> just okay. It's okay. not expensive. So the cost of living is actually still reasonable. Yeah, for really international well. student that yeah, if you definitely. are even if you're on a budget, you can still survive there. Exactly. Not so Once much. you get your rent, rent out of it, everything becomes really easy. So for the rent, actually, for the rent, is there like um. Let me say, I don't know. In in uh, other cities, they have, they have like four thousand, five thousand, eight thousand. What would you consider reasonable that um, someone who is coming from outside? Because now I'm looking at students that are coming in who mm -hmm. have not gotten jobs. Mm -hmm. They're just coming in maybe with the savings that you had. What, yeah. what do you think that? Uh, in that aspect, even the rent is quite cheap, okay. right? Okay, so for the rent I have, I mean for where I where I live, mm -hmm. it's maybe not that cheap, mm -hmm. but there are still places cheaper than that. Yeah. I mean obviously there are places more expensive than that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I probably cannot afford. Mm -hmm. But so I mean it all depends on your taste and what you're willing to yeah. live for. Yeah. So okay, so we cover the cost of living and the rent. Transport. Honestly, that's my favorite part. Like it's like but I get lost whenever I go to Prague. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you talking about the transportation? Like I mean the transport system, system and the transport fee. Okay, so the transport. Okay, let's start with the transport system. Mm -hmm. It takes. It. I mean, it took me personally. It took me like a week to yeah. get used to everything. And, you know, I kept um, going out with friends, like okay. just to know how tram works. I didn't know what tram was before coming right. to Czech Republic. Without <laughs> tram in Nigeria. <laughs> so. so you know, trying to <laughs> navigate the metro, it took like yeah. a week. Okay. And for the um, transportation cost, believe me, it's the best in Europe. I have to say. I mean, I've I've been to quite um, a few countries mm -hmm. <laughs> for real, we'll but come back trust that. me, it's, it's the best in Europe. Trust me. The, okay. the fact that you can just pay an amount for for a whole month, you can go anywhere, like within the city. Come on. Yeah, that's true. I think that you can, um, the transport system, uh, um, you said you can go a whole month, like, yeah. how does okay. that work? Okay, so there's um, a transport you can buy, Okay. It's a month, it's, there, there's a monthly ticket, a um, quarterly ticket and a yearly ticket. Okay. If you can get the monthly tickets, once you buy it, uh, it's at the moment, I don't know, maybe a um, couple of yeah. years later it might change, but at the moment it's 550 check round. With 550 check, check rounds for yeah, a monthly for ticket? For a month. For anywhere you're going anywhere to, anywhere within Prague. the city, yes. within Prague, yeah, anywhere, five hundred and fifty check counts. Yeah, for a whole month, like okay. that's pretty amazing for real. I think. It is, it is for a whole month, mm -hmm. five hundred and fifty check counts can get you anywhere in Prague. That's yeah. So within I mean that transport is quite affordable Very because affordable. I know, like you said, uh, uh, I don't know how it works other places, but I don't think that. Um, 
<laughs> I don't know how to say it. I don't think that they're like other countries that it's not all if they are, we don't know. But exactly. for the moment, at least places that I've been to, yeah, I, I've not seen that monthly. I haven't, ticket seen, I haven't seen a country that beats Czech Republic when it comes to transportation. So, mm -hmm. transport is cheap, yeah. affordable, and good. Okay, and good. So, the system, okay, tram, what other? Okay, so there's um, bus, there's yeah. tram, and there's metro. And then there's trolley, there's there's other ones as well, but the main three ones are the tram, the bus, and the metro. Okay. Yeah. Don't get lost when you're coming from the airport. <laughs> tram, <laughs> metro, bus. Well, you can <laughs> okay. take both. Oh. Rich kids. <laughs> Rich kids, you heard him say rich kids. Are you? Yeah, we're talking of student on the board. Okay, well, me, I'm a government child, so I don't know about other people. Maybe there are rich kids watching. So, okay, so um, for jobs now for international students, for jobs, do you think that it's easy in Prague? Mm -hmm. Because my major concern is living in Prague. I think this year I've seen a lot of influx of people applying to schools in Prague. Mm -hmm. So, living in Prague as an international student and as a foreigner, mm -hmm. basically, because uh, we know there are other people coming in, sure. do you think that job wise, Mm -hmm. What's the job environment like for students? Okay, so for that as well, I would say it's relative. It depends mm -hmm. on um, the experience you have, right? Okay. So I think it's relative. But for, I mean, comparing Prague to other cities, trust yeah. me, you have more chances in Prague, I have to be honest, right? Okay. So yeah, for the job-wise, I think it's relative. It depends on your field. Okay. If, I mean, but the fact that you can speak English, I think you are um, above a whole lot of people that cannot speak Czech or English well. Okay. You okay, understand? Okay. So English speaking is actually a really big advantage. So yeah, if you can speak English and then it depends on your field as well. If you are into IT, I think you have bigger chance. <laughs> So, like how to go and learn local. <laughs> I mean, I'm into the IT field, so uh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, if you're into the IT field, it's like a bigger chance for you, bigger opportunity. Okay, I so, think yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, um, like for other kind of jobs, like menial jobs. Yeah, you because you know that, that not everybody will have the chance to. Job. Because I do say like it's not immediately you get to Czech Republic, even with your skills, mm -hmm. you might be lucky. Everybody's dressed differ, yeah. but it's not like immediately you get there. You so what? Uh, if what I kind of to put an advice, I would say if you're coming to Czech Republic, just zero your mind for a month right yeah i wish to say three months <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah yeah so i need to start working until exactly. like two months i mean i started After. working quite early. No, it was like three know. months for me it was uh, because i got in like yeah uh, rich kid now government time uh -uh. So, yeah, fairly, fairly stop. Away, no? stop stop it <laughs> so yeah so, okay so, I think you have to so zero, zero your mind. mind yeah and then for mini jobs yeah you i think okay really high chance okay so yeah, a lot of questions I also got recently was, is there a community of some sort? Is there a, I, I don't know what that means because for me, some people who travel abroad and you know, they don't want to mingle with people from the same community or from the same environment. I don't know if that makes sense. But people have always been asking, is there like a community of African people, community of black people or something? I don't know how that um, works. I uh, don't really have an idea for that. So okay. I'm just not going to say what I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> because like I, I, I discovered that in like my school, they have like, um, they call it Afro UHK. Okay. They, they host events and hang out and stuff like that. Oh. Of course, something like I said, it's not just for Nigerians actually, it's for like, it's for Africans. So if that, since you don't have any idea about it, I also don't have any idea about it. I think you should just go there and face your life. Exactly. What are you looking you for? Don't, uh, you know, you see the time. <laughs> like really? <laughs> you don't have the time. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, and then religion, religion mm -hmm. wise, do you think that people would have an issue practicing their religion? Like at all. Muslims, Christians, at do you? At all, at all. I'm a Christian, I go to church. And okay. I have Muslim friends who are that from Dubai, good. Qatar, different countries. They go to mosque. So, but I mean, obviously, churches are more than mosque. I have to be honest. Okay. But there's church, there's mosque, and whichever God you have, <laughs> I don't know. And I think you can only pray in your room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Works I'm just trying well. to ask the questions that a lot of people have asked me. Mm -hmm. So I listed everything down, and I'm like trying to cover my base because, like I said, of Frank. <laughs> 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 so um, yeah, the other question is. Okay, now we've covered that English speaking is a big deal in, in, in Prague. Mm -hmm. Or like in other cities that I know of that English, you speak English, but it's not really like giving you so much advantage. So yeah. um, since English speaking is an advantage, what do you don't really think, or do you think that the not knowing Czech language or knowing Czech language, what, what uh, difficulties or what? Okay, yeah, it's a good question actually. For me, I think if you can learn the language, you're like, like ahead of 
thousands of hours, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a hard language to learn. I have to be yeah. honest. I'm, 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 I actually started learning in recent. I feel like if you can, if you can dedicate some time to actually learn the language, like mm. you are ahead of most mm-hmm. people, believe me. Because if you can speak the language, they value you more, right? Yeah, that's true. Like just walk up to them, the reader, <laughs> they go crazy, right? But, yeah, yeah. So you, you, I feel like you okay. have bigger chance, bigger advantage, and to, to, be to more settle valued. in. But yeah. do you think that without the language, or does the language pose any barrier to living without conditions? The, without the language, you're good. You're actually also language. still okay to Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I never learned the language before. I just started up recently, like I said. And I'm, I'm living well. Never faced any difficulty, you know. That. So we're working also. You don't think that... In Prague, do you have any restrictions for language jobs? Like, oh, if you can't speak Czech, we can't hire you or something like that. Uh, I'm not talking about informal settings. I'm talking wait. about, like, in informal settings. In like informal this, settings. Yeah, with, like, nah, the part-time nah, jobs nah, and all of nah, that. Nah, nah, You don't have to learn the language. For, you know, informal and, let's say, not... Um, official job, you don't yeah. really need to learn the language. Okay, yeah. okay, that's that's the really it's, it's a really big advantage if you can. Yeah, so I know it's a big advantage. It's a, it's a it's a really or something so yeah but uh, uh because people tell you language is really difficult even people living in czech who tell you that the language is difficult but sure. uh, uh i think that in prague like you said english speaking and you, you have a more international people yeah there, definitely so it's the capital we are you know different people are from they are the ones that are enjoying country. prague <laughs> okay so what's one thing you like about having your czech visa like what's one i don't know how to say it like one key thing for you oh key thing well <laughs> I think the ability to move around, move around okay. Europe. I've, like I said before, I've been to quite um, a few countries. And, you know, <laughs> Come on. So yeah, I've been to um, a couple of countries, a yeah. few, like a couple of countries. And mm-hmm. so, okay, for example, when I was going to Hungary, yeah. Budapest, I nobody checked my visa. Like I wasn't even stopped once. Yeah. Right, like there was no issue, just move around freely, like you own the land. So yeah, yeah that's like the best and uh, the number one advantage for me, the ability to the mobility. So yeah. Yeah. So so you you can see that um, the Czech visa grants you access to other Schengen countries. Yeah, definitely. So you have 20, the ability 20, to move around, and I think that you can travel um, with different transport system. So which ones do you think that? Let me tell them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want you to can, say I mean, honestly, time. you can go with the plane. Even okay. the plane are quite cheap, right? Mm-hmm. Really cost friendly. You can go with the bus. You can go with the train. So whichever one. So have you been to other cities in Czech Republic? Have you? Nah. You've traveled outside of Czechia, but have you traveled within? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay. I mean, Prague so. is like the main. So. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've had no reason to, so yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's also true. Like, unless mm-hmm. maybe you're, and then when you're on break, you want to work, so. Yeah, exactly. So, um, then, is it easy, also, like, is it easy to find accommodation? Is it easy to get housing in check in Prague? Yeah, I don't think there's any issue with that. There's always places you can apply to, to get okay. Yeah, it's quite easy. Yeah, and, any, and even for the job, does it work the same way? Like, is it easy? Like, do you, how do you apply for the jobs? Do you walk up to the, maybe to the restaurant, to the office? Do you just... That, that's an option. You can do that. Nobody mm-hmm. will, I mean, with the visa you have, if you have a student visa, nobody will, you know, tell you you can't work, right? So it's an option. But then there are some, you know, sites that can you know, make it easy for you. Um, okay. Sites like jobs.cz, okay. um, expats.cz. Yeah. And then there's this um, job fair always happening yeah. in Prague. Um, okay. I, I don't I mean job fair with job fair different companies will yeah, come um, right and okay. then you will have to like show um your negotiation skill, your communication skill yeah. and then there's with that you even have like higher chances of getting a job. Okay. Okay, we've talked about transportation, we've talked about cost of living. So basically like living in Prague is not as though it's the capital but doesn't make it ridiculously expensive. Expensive, yeah. Like it yeah, doesn't make yeah. it obviously some things you will buy in, it might not be the same prices and i think I, I i but i don't think that all i also don't think that it's like so much different but when i come to prague the way i spend my money i spend it sometimes like recklessly because then you say a lot of things that you want to buy you want you to know, shop but if you actually know your way there are some places that the prices are okay right and then there are some places that the quite the prices are ridiculously low like oh, you'll be okay. like are you serious Okay. I'm serious, yeah. So there are some places like that. Once you get here, I mean, you can you know how to navigate your way, mix with, um, have the rep, um, the right connections. So, yeah. And then you you'll be fine. So in your experience right now, mm-hmm. right now, 
do you think that you would change anything about if you were picking a school earlier when you were in, in Lagos? Do you mm -hmm. think you would change anything about your decision of going to Prague? Not a thing. Not one okay. thing. Trust me. Okay. Not a thing. But um, there are places that are not far from Prague. But I still think that if you're staying outside of Prague, you can you should you should always take like a weekend or a day to go to Prague. It's you really nice. To. You really <laughs> have to go to Prague. Yeah, it's really definitely. nice. It's really so. I don't know how to say. It's like let me say it's a city that never sleeps, right? Yeah. Sometimes I I get up like past one two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean there's yeah. always the transportation is two four seven. Oh, okay, yeah. that's nice. Mm -hmm. Two for seven. Well, I don't have idea when the transport system in my city closed because I I don't I don't go out like that. No, so do you think that okay? Yeah. That means you have a lot of activities you do outside. Yeah, there's parties, always there's clubs. always some, exactly there's always something. So or if you're a club person, trust me, you blend in okay. right like really really <laughs> okay. easily. Okay, so I'm just going yeah. to summarize here. Cost of living affordable yeah doesn't make it really a ridiculous just before because you live in prague mm -hmm. um transportation is cheap 550 mm -hmm. check rounds for a month that's like and is it does it get cheaper when yeah, you yeah, buy yeah. like if more? you actually um use with um your student id your student ic card yeah you get amazing discount again oh my yeah imagine oh like my. it's really, <laughs> the transportation is just okay it's just so the transport system is working effectively sure. and uh, transport wise is fine um yeah. yeah there's one thing i want to ask from the airport down to your dormitory down to your school mm -hmm. what advice do you have for people coming for the first time yeah coming for the first time i think if you're coming for the first time if you are quite familiar with Europe, I think you should be okay. But okay. if you're coming from country like Nigeria, Nigeria for, yeah, for the first time, I, th I think it's just um, quite easy to get someone to come pick you up. And if you don't okay. have that, just use your boat. I think you should just use boat. Just yeah. save money somewhere, like mm -hmm. maybe and out, like we did Prague, it's, like it's gonna three hundred check rounds, two hundred. Be up to that. Compare. I mean depending on where you're going so, where, yeah so for the first time if you have someone let them come pick you up okay if you don't just get to the airport back at the airport for sure mm -hmm. and then just take your boat to wherever you're going to okay and i also think that if you're coming for the first time just talk to people but be careful see i've gotten so like just be <laughs> careful ask um you're about to say anything about bear or not because she yeah, like yeah. whoever asks for road don't get lost but be careful of asking for road <laughs> but like the if you are confused they have like information tables or decks where you can yeah go and it's in Czech people. language and english so you don't have problem so those of you that keep saying language 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 europe is not an english-speaking country so deal with it yeah <laughs> yeah and english will there will always be english yeah, so Trust there's always me. someone speaking english yeah like and then the information you it will be written in czech and english Okay, sometimes, they are even considerable. Yeah, sometimes check English and maybe Ukrainian because of the influx because of, of the Ukraine. influx of Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. They are even yeah. nice. Some 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 countries will not even translate for you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, guys. So you've heard everything. Living accommodation depends on you. Your living expenses basically depends on you as a student. Mm -hmm. If you are really on a budget, because some of you rich kids are among us here. Let's let's not lie. So live on a budget live within your means and i think like i always say once you've been able to afford to pay your rent because nobody sends you what do i always say nobody sends this your zero, papa <laughs> this is zero so your landlord will not hear your grandmother just died ah. if you can pay your rent i think that every other thing is um you're good you're good to go mm -hmm. so guys um basically that's just it if you have any questions leave them in the comment in the comment box <laughs> english is hard <laughs> if you have any questions guys leave them in the comment box i'll try to respond as soon as i can and always always i know you're watching you've not hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button and always make sure to share what else again what else do i usually say okay i have to share, like subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> so guys share like subscribe video, so. <laughs> so, share like subscribe and then guys leave your comments in the comment box leave your questions there and if you're watching this video and you're in prague just leave your comments also in the in the comment section um i'm always here not always always but i try my best i'll see you in my next video and that's everything so i think prague is worth the hype Sure. For, I, I've visited a couple of times and I can say that Prague is worth the hype. If you are in Zlin, Librec, Olumok, Ostrava, Aradre, wherever you are. Pardubes. If you have not visited Prague, are you really living in Czech Republic? You have to try to visit Prague. And for those who are still trying to apply, there are a couple of universities in Prague you can apply to. Czech University of Life Sciences, um, University of Prague and Economics 
like a lot of them i put a lot of them up on my channel do your due diligence go on google google is your friend google it <laughs> like that guy we say all right guys i'll see you oh, my yeah, next <laughs> google it <laughs> google it <laughs> so i'll see you in my next video bye bye ciao 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 yeah.